All right, we're going to start on the connecting rods. So uh, it doesn't specify what material they're to be made out of, but later on in the plans it says that one of them has to get soldered or brazed in place. So I'm going to be soldering the one connecting rod, so I'm going to make it out of uh, brass. Um, so uh, I got to make three of them, and they got to be identical. So I came up with this idea how I'm going to go about uh, making them, and um, I'll show you how I've, I'll show you what I came up with. All right, I'm going to, um, I got a piece of quarter inch thick by one inch wide uh, brass stock here, and I went ahead and laid out all the dimensions with the height gauge, and um, I'm going to drill out all the holes in the mill. Um, I'll get that set up with the digital readout, and I'll make sure that they're each one is accurately uh, spaced. And um, I'll go ahead and I'll mill out the, um, I guess, the web of the uh, connecting rod, and I'll flip it over on the other side, mill out the other side, and then I could um, separate the three connecting rods and um, using a piece of drill rod I could uh, put them back in the mill and uh, bring them to, ident to identical uh, uh, width so um, I think it will become more uh, clear as we get started so I'll see you over by the mill in a couple of minutes I right, thinking it over a little bit more um, I got the mill centered in the y-axis here, and um, it's in an eighth of an inch in from the edge, and uh, that's where these holes will be uh, uh, drilled. What I'm going to do instead of I got these layout lines exactly uh, where they have to be in relationship to this x to this axis here but um, I'm not going to come in I got plenty of waste material in this area here so I'm going to come in a little bit I'm not going to go all the way out um, and that'll that'll give me more material heat on this side and on this side that I could trim off later uh, so as we get closer to that operation that, that'll become uh, self-explanatory so uh, let's get started these three holes drilled and reamed I'll move the table in the X direction um, one inch and the 32nd which is 1.031 and I'll switch the digital readout into incremental mode and move that Okay, right there. And um, okay. so I'll do the same thing. I'll drill each of the three holes with the 
center drill, come back with the um, 564ths, and finally ream them. So I'll do that off camera, and I'll bring you back when all of the holes are drilled. All right, so I got all the holes drilled now, um, and um, now I got a I got a half inch end mill in here. I came in um, half an inch. That's going to be a quarter of an inch for the uh, boss, plus half the diameter of the cutter, and um, we're going to go down uh, five sixty fourths of an inch, which is seventy eight thousandths, and um, I'll just go back and forth in the Y direction, hogging that out until I get down, and I'll move it over and uh, come to this other line here. So let's get started. with a light cut. same thing on the other side all right so off camera um, I went and hacksawed through the um, sides here and I think you guys can see where I'm going with this now so the next step I'll do is cut this off that'll free these um, three connecting rods and um, I'll put a piece of 3 32nd drill rod in each end and support that in the vise and mill them off to the same height and that'll give me three identical connecting rods hopefully so I got a I got all three of the connecting rods um, stacked together this is a piece of 3 32nd drill rod on both ends and um, stack them all together and I got to get this down now to 3 16 of an inch so I'm gonna put this in the mill and I think you guys can see where we're going with this here okay so I'm zeroing out my end mill on this piece of a drill rod and um, so this has got to be 3 30 seconds up from the center line of that and that's a piece of 3 30 seconds so that's 3 64 seconds subtracted from that amount so that gives us um, uh, about 50 just under 57 thousandths we have to take off uh, we have to leave um, 57 thousandths um, proud of that so I have that zeroed out so when it gets to 57 uh, that's where we have to stop so let's get the uh, Let's start milling the stuff off.
right, so that's uh, that's down. Everything's all flat, and uh, I gotta flip this over. And um, there's not gonna be a whole lot to hold on to there, so uh, let's hope uh, let's hope for the best. All right, so I have it um, ever so uh, gingerly clamped in there. Um, I got a, quite a bit to take off that back one there, so I'm, I'm just going to take my time and um, take light cuts. I don't want to rip this out of the vise, um, so um, I think it'll work. And let's uh, let's have at it. trimming the ends down now and taking super light cuts again. Okay, so I got the three connecting rods done here. Um, as you can see, uh, these uh, these pins move in and out nice and freely, so uh, I'm pretty uh, pretty confident that uh, those are all drilled uh, parallel and um, consistent. So, uh, and there we have it. Three connecting rods. All right. Uh, bring it to focus there. So. Uh, all right, 